Hi, this is Barry. Thanks for joining me to discuss SAFE, Cisco's reference for security. SAFE is a model and method used to secure a business by illustrating today's business challenges in a language that changes the way we think about security. It focuses on threats and best practices for defending against them, and ultimately it simplifies security and help us focus our conversation on the needs of business in a vendor neutral manner. We all know that there's so many security vendors out there today and typical vendors promises solutions, but ultimately they just deliver products and customers were left to uh, implement and manage those products to the best of their ability. Is this security guaranteed? Of course not. And there's not no such thing as a super bullet when it comes to security, right? And that's because security is very complex. That product the customer was convinced to buy has a lot of different features and settings, and now the customer has to figure out how should the product be um, fitted into the network, and um, what features are they supposed to turn on, and how does it integrate with other products they already have, like um, management platforms, identity systems, seams, or SOAR. So in the vendor space, like I said, most of them just talk about point products and not actual capabilities. So you know, it, it can't be used as a practical, practical uh, reference. And wouldn't it be great, you know, if there was a trusted advisor that can help look at the whole problem holistically from the customer and the business point of view and make recommendations regardless if they sell the product or not. So for example, what if the customer need to secure their data center? Or what if the customer need to figure out how do they secure credit card information at every branch and make sure that you maintain something like PCI compliance? And this question can be answered with just one product, right? So if you ask the customer for their security diagram, you most probably get a uh, complicated drawing like this. As you can see, it's a network diagram. It's not a security diagram. It shows IP addresses, VLANs, um, switches, routers, and other things. But what it doesn't show is where security is. And it certainly doesn't show what functions or capabilities are in place. So like, you know, which box is the firewall and where's the IPS? And what about mirror protection? And also more importantly, it doesn't show how the traffic actually flow through the network and it doesn't show business flow, um, you know, and how it looked like in this environment. And this is where SAFE comes in. It provides a building block method and incorporating best practices while, um, you know, also allowing customers to use their own uh, chosen security model, whether it's uh, PCI, NIST, or any others. And at the center of SAFE is a large set of capabilities. And as I mentioned earlier, SAFE is intended to be a vendor agnostic method. So you won't see any industry buzzwords or product names or vendors. And these capabilities are the things that we use throughout the process. And so how does it work? You know, I'm sure you agree that, you know, when it comes to defense, um, <clears throat> you know, the good guys have to get things right every time and the bad guys only need to get it right once. So when designing security, we need to consider the entire attack surface, meaning the people and the devices they're using, as well as the network itself, whether it's wired, wireless, internal or edge, cloud. It also has to take into consideration the applications in use. And to get it right every time, this attack surfaces need to be examined for each business flow. And each piece of attack surface has its own set of security risks and vulnerabilities. So depending on the use case, there would be a set of capabilities that might be needed to manage the risks. So we're really matching the capabilities to the risks that we're facing, right? So a useful way to go through the process with a customer is to have a safe workshop and this is a focused meeting with representatives from different teams within the customer's organization, like security network, uh, desktop uh, application. This is where you build the flows and capability charts together, uh, usually on a whiteboard like this. So once you look at the business flow and take into consideration the risks, uh, threats, and policies and compliance needs, uh, to document uh, the capabilities needed, we arrive at a flow uh, look like this, right? Um, these capabilities can then be assigned to the most appropriate um, uh, technologies or products, whether it's you know something that the customer already has or something to acquire. So at the end of the safe workshop, a set of formal flow can be created for the customer uh, like this. And this is just one, right? So there could be multiple flows, you know, if 
um, you know, if we work on multiple different use cases. So, you know, we highlight where security capabilities are already in place and where the gaps are allowing the customer to make uh, good priority decisions. So as you can see, um, SAFE dramatically simplifies the discussion about security and it open dialogues and stimulate fresh perspectives. And it helps you as partner and seller to make uh, best product recommendations and set POV uh, success criteria and to customers. This would be a great documentation and reference for them and uh, help them better understand their security status and uh, probably build a security roadmap. And through the process, uh, we, we actually also help break the silos a little bit within the organization, like giving different teams the same terms and language for their internal discussion in the future. Um, and uh, to for more information on SAFE, please visit cisco.com slash go slash SAFE. Thank you.